the benefits of breastfeeding. In 2011, the World Health Organization and UNICEF recommended that all mothers worldwide should initiate breastfeeding within the first hour of birth. I know my sister had to give her baby breast milk, but I want to make sure I give my baby the best and I can afford formula, so should I use formula? It's great that you want to give your baby the best, but breast milk is definitely the best way to feed your baby. Your breast milk is uniquely made by your body for your baby. Because you carried and live with your child, your body knows what your baby needs. Formula uses the same mixture for every baby, whereas your milk is specially made for your baby alone. Breast milk is a complete nutritional solution for the baby and the mother. It contains all the necessary nutrients a baby needs and it is readily available from the mother. It is a simple, natural solution for feeding. Additionally, it won't cost the mother anything, so it is also financially beneficial. There are many benefits of breastfeeding for both the mother and child, but there are also many risks of not breastfeeding. Let's first look at the benefits of breastfeeding for the baby. Nutrition. Each mother's milk is special and suited for her own baby. It changes from month to month, day to day, and feed to feed to meet the baby's needs. Breast milk is the easiest for babies to digest. In addition, the mother passes on immune-protective antibodies through her milk, which protect the child against infections. Babies who are not breastfed are more likely to get ill and could die from infections such as gastrointestinal and chest infections. If formula fed, they might be underweight and not grow well, especially if they live in poor circumstances. Or they might be overweight and have heart problems later in life if they live in rich circumstances. Mothers who breastfeed are less likely to develop anemia or to become pregnant soon after the baby's birth. They are also less likely to develop breast cancer or to have hip fractures in older age. Additionally, breastfeeding helps the mother lose fat gained during the pregnancy. This will lessen the likelihood of obesity in later life. Thank you, Ness. I have decided to breastfeed. So when should I start breastfeeding? We really recommend that you start breastfeeding within the first hour after birth. At the hospital, there will be someone to assist you with this as it can be challenging sometimes. When the baby comes, can I give her other foods to make her stronger and grow well? And how long should I breastfeed for? That's a good question. We recommend that you exclusively breastfeed the baby for six months. That means no other fluids or foods are necessary because, as you now know, your breast milk is all your baby needs. After your baby is six months old, you can introduce other foods, but remember, breast milk continues to be advantageous. You may safely breastfeed until two years of age. These benefits of breastfeeding and the risks of not breastfeeding clearly show the importance of breastfeeding for both the mother and child. It is free, nourishing, convenient, and protects the baby against illness. It is very important for mothers to know that it is her body that made her baby and her breast milk is best. Your baby, your body, your milk is best.